Let us remember the events that unfolded a few months ago when NATO was knocked out of their boots by Russia's lightning-fast incursion in the Ukraine territory involving a vast mobilization of units towards the Donbas region with the clear intention of taking action against Ukrainian military personnel that were evacuating Russian-speaking people that are against the events that unfolded in 2014. As it was becoming increasingly clear what the intention of the Ukrainian soldier was, Russia has quickly assembled its units in battle positions along the border of Ukraine, repositioning 120,000 soldiers in just a week, which is a logistical challenge for any modern army. Such a thing has not been seen since the Blitzkrieg. The term Blitzkrieg refers to an astonishing speed of mechanized military vehicles, a doctrine that emphasizes large and devastating bombing runs followed by large-scale attack on a large front, fast and deep in enemy territory in order to prevent the enemy from regrouping or reinforcing its positions. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization has been simply baffled by this action. The leaders of the organization have realized that they had been fooled, stating that this is incredible, a demonstration of military power prowess by Russia, which has completely nullified all NATO procedures regarding any military action against Russia. They also stated that in such a situation, the alliance would have been certainly defeated by Russia in case of a war. Now, regarding the situation in Central Asia at the border between Russia and Kazakhstan, it could be said that the events have been orchestrated by foreign powers, being hard to believe that CIA did not have anything to do with them and that USA was unaware of them. It could be said that US CIA has created this scenario regarding the price of gas and electricity, as they do in any country they want to influence. It is possible that USA and NATO seek to see how Russia will act in an unexpected situation since many military experts suggested that Russia has the upper hand when it comes to Ukraine, because they knew how the Ukrainian troops would react ever since 2014. It is a known fact that Russia knows everything that happens in Ukraine, since they know that a vast majority of the population doesn't support the Kiev leadership. Unexpected violence happened in Kazakhstan before the meeting of Putin and Biden and NATO representants the day before. If we were to give in to conspiracy theories, we could say that they wanted to see the real situation regarding Russia's military power now and how far they can go opposing Russia. Russia has instantly deployed thousands of troops equipped with standard military equipment for such an action and thousands of military mechanized units in less than 48 hours since the president of the Kazakhstan has requested the help of the CSTO member states. The military operation of moving all those troops from Russia Federation to Kazakhstan has been done exclusively with an air group of 70 Ilyushin 76 and 5 Antonov 124 heavy transport plane. The speed and agility of deployment of troops and Russian command has been a shock for NATO because it happened faster than they could receive intel, never mind act. They did not even have the time to comment publicly the events, positive, nor negative, or at all. Staying in the lines of conspiracy theories, we could say that this action in Central Asia has been the last nail in NATO's coffin, since now they can see that any scenario meant to destabilize will not bring the wanted benefit. On the contrary, it will only lead to a senseless death in case of military confrontation with Russia. They could also take note of the fact that CSTO functions very well and that it can mobilize itself faster than NATO, which analyzes the situation for a few weeks before acting too late. We can't say that these events have been created by Washington or Brussels, but it looks like it's plausible. 
We are certain to know more once the investigation of the organizations will be concluded. Until then, all comments can be wrong. In any case, since the end of World War II, these days we are witnessing military history, the first time when a country invades another without firing a single shot. Subscribe please.